Kobe Black, Texas signee. Congratulations on uh, you know, signing with the Longhorns. What what led you to Texas? Why did you decide that they were the team for you? Uh, really, you know, it's just like the coaching staff. You know what I mean? Um, as soon as I got there, I just felt like home. You know what I mean? Uh, not only by the coaches, but you know, by the players and stuff. So. Uh, I feel like I fit in right into the scheme, so I feel like it was just the best fit for me. Mm -hmm. Who were you closest with on the staff, and just who did the best job making sure you felt comfortable? Probably uh, Coach Joseph and Coach Stark, both of them, you know what I mean? They both were assisting and calling me and stuff like that, so probably them too. Mm -hmm. Was there anything in particular that they were telling you that just made you feel that comfortable with them? Um, you know what I mean? They tell me where they see me at, and you know, just telling the truth. So like, he told me that, um, even when you come here, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna try to find somebody to come here that can take your spot. You know, he like he ain't gonna recruit nobody that's a backup. He won't recruit starters. So uh, him just saying that, you know, he's just gonna be real with me all the time. So that's what I like. Mm -hmm. When you were on campus and getting getting to see everything and getting to know the players and the other recruits, who did a good job just kind of making, you know, answering your questions and making sure you felt like you were part of the team already? Uh, you know, probably uh, Trey, Jelani, Jante. Malik a little bit too. Um, just them guys, you know, showing me around and just like you know, showing that they want me there with them and be teammates with them. Okay. What uh, what school came in second for you? Uh, maybe like LSU or Oklahoma State. You, LSU or Oklahoma State? Yeah. Okay. Did any of them try to flip you right at the end? Uh, yeah. You know, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State did, but yeah, that's the. Were you really paying attention, or was it just kind of like? Uh, yeah, I was locked in with Texas, so no, I never heard it. Okay, I got you. Um, you know, outside of the Texas coaching staff, who did you have develop a really strong bond with? Outside of the coaching staff? Yeah, outside. Of, well, just at any other school. Oh, uh, you know, it's a couple like Coach Russia from a and Coach Pilot from Baylor. He was at Oregon. You know what I mean? Uh, who else? You know, Coach. Coach V from um, OU. Mm -hmm. So, you know, a whole bunch of guys that I develop a good relationship with. So. Okay, gotcha. Now, when you were out there taking all your visits and talking to all these coaches, what was the strangest recruiting pitch that you heard? Strangest recruiting pitch? I really have no, like, weird encounters like that. I yeah. ain't really have none. Nothing like that? Okay. Nah. How about for, for Transfer Portal, you know, you see how – how big an impact it's having on the college football world and just on the recruiting world as well. Uh, is the transfer portal something that you really considered or had an impact on your recruitment at all? No, nah, not really. Uh, if I go to school, I'm planning on transferring. So, I mean, I'm locked in with Texas, so hopefully three to four years I get done and I'll be able to go to the league. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Uh, I mean, is it even something that you think about as maybe maybe a possibility down the road? Because you know, thirty about thirty percent of the players in this game are probably going to find themselves in the portal at some point or another. Some guys maybe twice. So mm -hmm. I mean, is it something that you think about, or is it just not? No, even I, really? I don't even think about it to be honest. You know what I mean? I chose Texas for a reason, so I'm on putting on transfer. I don't plan none of that. So I love Texas. So yeah. <laughs> All right. Sounds good.